Hello there. Welcome back to Scene Leaders with Ibble. It's your old pal Sean. Today I'm hanging out with Paul O'Brien. He What's up, is Sean? all over Austin. Hey, how are you doing? I'm good. Good. I'm all over Austin, I suppose. Yeah, well, I was, you know, I, I realized I was being rude and I wasn't saying hello properly. <laughs> no, I was rude. I cut you off. No, not don't, at all. Don't do that on Ibble. Paul, you're yeah. the guest. If you want to punch me in the face right now, you can do that. Ooh. You have full carte blanche. That is, that is a challenge we might we might have to take on just to Done. see how it rolls. This bag of bones. How are you? It'll crumble. We're how doing well. Uh, I can't complain. Um, you know, it's it's Tuesday afternoon. I'm here in the Ibble Studios with you. You're one of the sharpest minds in startup culture here in town. And so I'm, I'm humbled. Um, I just figured we'll just kind of ask you a few... Uh, Rapid fire questions. Shoot. And, uh, you know, you're the guru. You're the maestro when it comes to the entrepreneurial spirit here. Don't so. set the bar that high. Lower lower it drastically from there. In yeah. fact, that's that's probably my first bit of advice to startup entrepreneurs is l- lower the bar. Trust me. I like that. I like that. That's that's honestly a Ease philosophy in. I can get behind Ease is it. lower your standards. Sean <laughs> Richards, Paul O'Brien, TM. <laughs> There's, right a book, there's a book in there. I'm telling you. How to succeed in business without really trying. Aim <laughs> low. lower the standards. Just like my wife did when she married me. You just go ahead and bring <laughs> those expectations way down. And my friend, wonderful things. It works, up. It right? Works. You're nothing but happy at that point. <laughs> 90% of this is completely unusable, but uh, you're welcome anyway, Zibble. Um Paul, I do want to ask you a little bit here. So you really, all, all jokes aside, you've done a lot. You've been around. You're, you're talking. You're talking in Belgium for a year soon. Like you're, you're all over the place. But you've seen a lot of of uh, things that work in startup culture and a lot of things that don't work. Sure. Uh, how do you discern? Like, what kind of advice would you give to a new incubating uh, startup in terms of putting their best foot forward? as opposed to picking up their bones on the side of the road in a year and a half? It, 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 that's a cool question because it's, it's, the answer is actually in the question. Uh, most, we, we know how to start businesses that are successful because you, you can look at the business model, you can look at the, you know, what, what the existing business has done. When it, when it comes to startups, the reality is that almost all startups fail. Yeah. And so the trick is, is not to actually chase success. Mm. Is is to is to not focus on sales, or or doing the right thing. the The trick is actually to learn what to avoid, mm. so that you don't fail. Right. I like that. Fo- focus on figuring out how to not be one of the ninety percent. That's good. Um, the odds that you're in the ten percent that succeed are. Pretty evident. They're ten percent. <laughs> so, Good math. So is so, it sad that I was actually trying to like calculate that in my head? I, I had to do the same thing. If you didn't <laughs> notice my pause, which is what. Uh, and, and 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 it's. I'm passionate about it. It's a great question because I'm I'm so passionate about it because it's really rather obvious. S- study the market. Talk to people. Talk to investors. Make sure you don't make the mistakes that other people have made. Yeah. Right. And 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 most founders don't. Uh, focus on. Talk, you know, talk to people about not, is this a good idea? Not, 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 let me pitch you. What do you think of my idea? Is this great? Right. Yeah. Do you want to buy it? No, no, no. Say, say, why wouldn't it work? Why won't it mm. work? What am I screwing up? Talk to mentors, talk to, yeah. talk to this group of folks on, on Ibble that we're getting together, you yeah. know, and, and try to figure out how to make sure you don't end up yeah. the bones on the side of the road. Poke holes in it as much as you can. Yeah. Yeah, I like that. I, I I like the idea of, a I I think there's kind of like a freedom that comes when it's like it's not about me getting this thing right. It's about me learning from those who didn't or those who did, and just kind of making sure that my idea isn't shit. I like that. Yeah, it's I I wouldn't I wouldn't Maybe even that's say it's simplification. No, 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 I wouldn't even say it's it's that an idea is shit or not because the re, the reality is ideas are prolific, right? And so. And so most most ideas to to an extent are shit, and and at the same time they're not right. What what wow. what causes what causes a success in a in, in the startup ecosystem is that the team the the founders and the team they're so passionate they're so committed they keep going yeah. they persevere like until until more and more works and yeah. and and hence the advice how how do you enable yourself to do that how do you enable your venture to keep going yeah. despite things not working out 
you you focus on avoiding the things that aren't going to work out, That's right? Good. You 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 give yourself enough runway, enough time, so that you can just hit singles, mm. right? Not not home runs, not triples, not even double. Just hit singles, just, right? Just get on base. and avoid getting out. I like that. exactly, and that way you win the game in time. That's that's. Uh, a good baseball analogy goes a long way. I like that. That was a baseball analogy. I was yeah. going for lacrosse, but I oh, guess it, shoot. I, I, guess I forgot. Right. I forgot. I don't understand lacrosse. Um, so let me ask you a little bit. Like you've you've had time to cultivate a philosophy here. When it comes to startup, and you kind of answered this in the previous question, what do you think is the healthiest attitude to adopt out the gate? Is it hey? Anything is up for for debate. Anything is negotiable. Is it more? Hey, I, it's like Thomas Edison. I've got to get like a, a lot of failures under the belt before I find my way. What's your philosophy? Uh, mission driven and values driven. Mm. Um, Google's mission, as as an example, is to index all of the world's information and make it universally accessible and available to everyone. Do they do that? No. Can they ever do that? No, it's, it's not even, it's not even possible. Right? Say, it's, up it's, in the clouds. it's a mission, right? And, yeah. and and it helps align the team. It helps align the company. It helps align the the the, the investors around mm. knowing knowing what you are working on, knowing what you're willing to do, and and knowing what you won't do. Right? Sure. Should we acquire YouTube? Well, yeah, that's that's in line with the mission, mm. right? Should we should we launch maps and 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 Android phones, yep. If that helps us aggregate more information and make it available to everybody, that's in line with the mission, right? Mm -hmm. Should we build a payment platform? Which they did, by the way. I'm pointing it out, right? Should we build a payment platform? Eh, I don't know. You know, maybe that maybe that isn't the best fit in the world, right? Yeah. So mission driven, and then hopefully you kind of heard it too. It's 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 what are your values? Because yeah. you know, I hear a lot of founders who who will come to us and say. Uh, I, I I don't like venture capitalists. Yeah. Venture capital is going to take over my company, and I just I don't want to raise money from VCs. Mm. Okay, right? There there is no right or wrong answer to that. That's a value, though, right? Yeah. You, you've you've now set in place right. something that you will or will not do, mm. and it needs to be clear. It needs to be clear and consistent, and 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 both of those mission down, values up. When those are clear. It, it enables everyone else to uh, line themselves with you, to yeah. understand how they can help you, right? To, like to, be, to be more supportive and to contribute to your success because they won't waste time doing things that you don't want to do, yeah. right? They won't try to make you raise VC, sure. venture capital, if you really don't want to, even if maybe it's the right idea, maybe it's the right advice. And, and and though that too then enables you to build the right team of people, right? Oh, right, evangelists and advisors that are going to help you be successful. I like that a lot. That's uh, that's it's an interesting distinction you made there of, you know, the vision being the north star or uh, the mission being the north star, the vision kind of being the way that you navigate that even within. I, yep. I think that's kind of it's kind of helpful to have that lens. Uh, there's no easy way to transition this, but I do want to get in and ask like. What in all this are you most excited about? What part of the process do you enjoy the most? Is it is it talking to uh, entrepreneurial minded people? Is it is it coaching, mentoring, speaking? What get what what gives you some uh, wind to the sails there, Paul? I I I'm a teacher, yeah, at heart, I suppose. And so, what gets me most excited is 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 the fact that the world has gotten a lot smaller in the last five years, right? Thanks to yeah. Thanks to what's been going on with with Ibble. quarantines and and with Ibble. No, you're right. And and thanks to what's thanks to what's going on with the internet and media, yeah. right? That we can all connect everyone in the world. And and what that's what's what what that's driven is this 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 awareness in humanity that that if you want to learn something, you can yeah freely. So it's all there for you as long as somebody's there to provide it, right? Yeah. As long as somebody's there to teach it. I I love teaching it. I, I write an incredible amount about the startup ecosystem, about Austin, about venture capital. Uh, I love to speak. Uh, I love to run our incubators and help help mentor in our programs. Uh, and I love doing this. I love to to get on camera when I can. I don't do it very much, but get on camera when I can. And if we want to talk this way, let's do it. You're welcome at Ibble anytime Cheers. on camera uh, with that handsome face uh -huh. and that athletic bod. I don't care what you say. You uh -huh. look good, man. 
Thank you for that. Keep at it. Thank you for that. I appreciate it at my age. That means a lot. Well, hey, you know, uh, Paul is is actually just just a real worn down eighteen year old. Um, he's been through a lot. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, you can tell I'm, I'm worn down a lot. You know, and I'm noticing on camera too. I've got this like, what was the, there was a cartoon character that had his hair sticking up at the front. So I'm noticing right now I've got a little thing Johnny here. Bravo. Was it Johnny Bravo? No, now you just divided us by about ten years. Oh shit! No, somebody older than that. It's gonna drive me crazy. Archie Bunker. On, on the on, and now you now you're <laughs> Jesus man. I'm not that old. <laughs> on in in the chat, if you could figure out what my awful hairstyle right now looks like or who it looks like, roll with it. Let's see what we can come up with. Because what the hell is that, right? I yeah. See, not is that no, who it is? No. no. The swoop. Ah, uh, the Jew just pulled up like a. Like a wow. 1950s cartoon. It was close. And I think that was Alpha Alpha from uh, Little Rascals. He just pulled up there. But he did a movie. It was a Spielberg movie. With the swing. I think. No, with the hair thing in the front. Pee Wee Herman. No, dang it. Dang. Uh, in the comments, that dude. Oh, Tintin. See, do I have a little Tintin thing going on? Kind of. My but hair color is wrong, but in a cool way. It's better than I can. <laughs> hey, it's better than I can ask for. Um, <laughs> way better. <laughs> okay, that picture actually yes! adds a lot more context. See, Jude, are you able to retroactively throw these images up here so that the audience isn't just grasping at straws? Okay, Jude's giving the yes. That's great. Fantastic. Well, there you have it, uh, Paul. I appreciate you going with me on that rabbit trail. That was awesome, though. Uh, you're you're wise beyond my ears, so I appreciate you being here. And uh, that made no sense. Wise beyond my ears. Wow. <laughs> Wow. I think we came up this, with the secret to being a successful startup founder. <laughs> it's just to be like Tintin. Be like Tintin. Be like Tintin. And be wise beyond my ears. Sean Richards, Paul O'Brien. Cheers. How the hell are you? Welcome. Thanks for watching on Ibble.